Tell me if this has ever happened to you. You're lying in bed and you get a text. But the issue is your phone, even at the lowest brightness, is blinding. I can fix that. To start, you're going to want to go into settings on your device. Once there, scroll down to accessibility. Then scroll down again to display and text size. At the bottom of that, you should be able to see reduce white point. If you flip that switch, then that will already have started helping you and your screen will be significantly dimmer than it was previously. The issue is, you don't want to have to go into settings every single time that you want to reduce this white point. You want to be able to scroll over and push one button or even tell Siri to just disable it for you. So turn it off and then open up the Shortcuts app. With Shortcuts open, click on Create New, and they're going to push Add Action. Look up White Point at the top, and you can see the Set White Point is one of the top options. Click Turn White Point On, and click uh, Tap Turn, and switch to Toggle. Push Done, and now whenever you click this button, it's going to toggle it on and off for you. If you want to add this to a widget, you can go over to widgets on your iPhone, click edit at the bottom, and then push plus. At that point, you can search widgets for shortcuts. Click on shortcuts, and then push add widget. Push down at the top right, and then if you click this uh, white point button, it dims your screen. Tap it again, and it turns off. So there's one other thing I'd like to show you, and that is how to make your screen brighter. Complete change in pace, I know, but sometimes whenever you're outside, your phone is making your screen darker than you want it to be, and I think that you should have full control over that. You can't make a shortcut for it, or at least I haven't figured out a way to, but it's in the exact same menu. So if you go back to settings, under the accessibility page, and then display and text size, there's an option for auto brightness. By disabling that, you're able to set your brightness to whatever you want and then it stays there. So if you set your brightness to max inside, it's still going to stay there all day long and so changing it whenever you change rooms and you change your lighting conditions, which I think can be super helpful. I'm going to leave it back on auto brightness just because I like saving that battery life, but there's definitely times when it's very helpful and I think that it's a good thing to know. I hope that was helpful. This is definitely a hack that I've used in the past and I just think it's really helpful. If there's anybody using Android, um, just let me know in the comments and I can make a video for you. There's there's similar stuff for it, but that's used more by turning off individual pixels than just applying a filter over the whole screen. I really like how Apple just integrated all in with the app. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.